good news, y'all. They've got a tunnel about two inches down right here. Oh boy. Oh, it's getting exciting, guys. Before you know it, they'll be off making real tunnels, going ham. And they're still working on them grubs, doing their thing, still stacking up their gel. No big tunnels down here yet, but still mostly at the surface and right over here on the edges. They really like to dig on the edges, gently turning this so I don't jostle them too bad. They've also got one little tunnel on the side here that no one's really working on right now, but it's there. So that's good. And it looks like they've either been consuming the water on the sides or it's just kind of gone back into the gel. I'm really not sure. It was pretty cute though. For a while, they would climb through the water on the sides and their little butts would just drag the water behind them and make little trails and it was so cute. Bubby wanted to be on YouTube again because he's so handsome and he's a good boy. Yes, he is. Say hi, bubs. Hmm, yes, kisses. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a climber here. So I gave him those grub worms and they are loving it. Loving it. Oh, looks like he's still alive. I thought I killed him. Whoops. They're tunneling. Oh, they're tunneling. Look at them go. I made some friends outside. Pretty cute, huh? We uh, filleted some fish tonight that my boyfriend caught. And uh, a piece of the scraps fell on the ground. And now nature is taking over. So, a circle of life. <sighs> okay. I dug about five or six ant hills up and only saw like two or three worker ants. That's it. So, I think there's multiple reasons for that. I think one, the dirt that we're in is a little too dry and too hard. Because um, it was very hard and there was some rock in there. Not ideal for ants, but that's where I am. So that's what I had to work with. Thought I'd give it a try, realized it wasn't the best option. Another reason, it was like 80 degrees outside already, and it's only 7 a.m. It's hot, they're not coming out, I wouldn't either. They're probably so deep in the ground, it's going to be impossible to find them. Also, I just don't think I was in the right place. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to go back to the park where I got that sand from to try to build the second ant farm that I decided to release. I'm going to go back to that same park where I saw a queen ant the other day and she was so fast I couldn't get a hold of her. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to dig up some holes. I'm going to see what I find. All right, guys, the ants have made it about three inches down. They are definitely tunneling, guys. Definitely tunneling. They're piling all kinds of gel. They're also working on a big tunnel over there in the corner. They've munched on their grub worms a little and rearranged the piles and uh, consumed some of their dead comrades. But uh, I'm getting real excited about this tunnel over here, guys. Okay, so the ladies of my farm had a little bit of some dirt up top. They finished eating the grub worms that I gave them yesterday and they were over it, so I took the grub worms out. I also grabbed the pile of dead ants that was sitting right there and the pile of gel that they were piled up in, I guess, and took it out of their tank. You're supposed to remove any decomposing items in their tank because it can cause mold to grow within the gel and the mold is really difficult to get rid of. So you definitely don't want that in your tank. 